making a video because I cannot write in my blog. I My butt hurts so bad from this pressure sore. It's insane. And I have a lot that I want to share. Especially because of something that happened last night. It just really bugged me. And first made me feel like crap, but the more I thought about it and I'm just gonna use it as motivation because, yeah. So this guy that I know, I don't know him that great, but um, he, so he wrote me on Facebook. He's been randomly messaging me and I don't always, you know, respond or get back right away. Um, just trying to make small talk and then uh, and then yesterday he wrote me and he said what happened to you you're so sensitive and I'm like what are you talking about and then uh, he said um, I just don't understand why you're so depressed all the time you uh, you went to a good school you this and that and um, and I was like no, I would just read it to you, but I'm driving. Um, so then he said, why don't you stop blasting it all over Facebook and call or text a friend? And, uh, um, and I, you know, I told him, like, I have depression. It doesn't matter what I do. Um, no, that's not right. We're going to start this over. So he said, what happened to you? you're so sensitive and I don't understand why you're so depressed all the time and I said because I have depression it's not really a choice and yeah I understand that I have a lot of good things going on in my life that doesn't change the fact that I struggle with mental illness like it's not my choice um and he said well stop, why don't you stop blasting it all over Facebook and start calling or texting a friend? And and I got really upset with him. And uh, yeah, it's just like, I told him, you know, why don't you do some research on depression? And I share because I know it's important to share it. I know what I went through all those years struggling and thinking that I was so crazy. I had no idea that this was, you know, it's like a, it's a mental illness that I have, I don't have control over it. I can do everything I can to make it better and I do. I fight really hard and I freaking, I do everything I can, but it doesn't change that it just keeps coming back. And so I'm gonna keep sharing because I know it's important. I don't care if it's even just like one person, four people. I wish that I would have seen the behind the scenes of what people really go through and that not everyone is just perfect. And with depression, you kind of you kind of feel like everyone else is just has it, you know, so good or it's just easy for them and and that something's wrong with you when that's not true and I at least want everyone to know that I do have depression that's something I struggle with behind the scenes obviously not everyone has that but um it's not all just happy-go-lucky times so I'm gonna keep sharing it and I blocked that guy because that's I mean I told him you know maybe you could research it a little and he said I don't believe in depression no need to research and it's like, okay. And he said, he said, just trying to understand. And you're not trying to understand if you're gonna say you don't believe in it and you're not gonna research it. And that's fine, but I don't need that in my life at all. Um, yeah, so there's a little blog post. Um, I think that's all that I wanted to share. And I'm going to keep sharing because I understand the importance of it. And there's always going to be people trying to bring you down or hating on it. 
and judging you and that's totally fine because there's plenty of people that have messaged me and told me that it helps them so much that I do share and I'm so open and I'm just going to remember that and keep focusing on them and not let those few, maybe few hundred, I don't know, people that are hating bring me down because, you know, they're not happy if they're going to go out of their way to try and you know, make someone feel bad or if they're going to judge someone like that. So, yep, I'm going to keep doing this and I'm going to do it more and I'm going to believe that, you know, I can help people by sharing because for some reason inside I just want to share. I always want to share. I'm always thinking about what I could write or something that happened in my life and I'm like, oh, I want to I wanna tell them about that. And then sometimes I get really scared and feel like, you know, I'm going to be judged or they're going to think I'm weak or this and that and there's no need because it's just, it's just who I am and it's real, they're real feelings and there's nothing wrong with that. So maybe sharing will heal me or help me heal a little more. So, yes. Last thing. Yes, I am driving and yes, I have a freaking pressure sore on my butt cheek. I'm like sitting on a pad that's folded up on the side and my butt is not really touching. I'm going to meet someone at Challenge Athletes Foundation just for some guidance and um, I was supposed to meet with her last Friday and I put it off because of this pressure sore that I thought would maybe be better by Monday, but it's hurting. Um, but I have to figure things out and I need to go, you know, I need to meet with these people that might be able to help me in one way or another. So I'm going and then I'm going to be off my butt again. I stayed off my butt all weekend. It's so hard not to do anything, especially when I'm finally feeling good and motivated. But that's good that I feel good and motivated. And it's good that the fact that I can't do anything is bothering me. That makes me happy at least because not feeling like that when you don't want to get out of bed just because you don't want to get out of bed. Um, that's miserable, but... I actually, you know, I'm, I'm happy that I'm feeling normal feelings of being bored or it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Just had to explain that because I know some people are going to be like, why are you driving and putting pressure on that? You're not being responsible and all of that that comes with sharing everything. So it's just life can't always stay off of your pressure sore, especially when you use a wheelchair and when you move to another state for a job and you get laid off and you got to figure your stuff out. So, that's that. Okay, bye.